Welcome to the next chapter of our thyroid journey, where we will be going over what happens when the thyroids, or in this case, a spy's, best laid plans go awry. First up, we will cover hyperthyroidism, which occurs when there are abnormally elevated levels of thyroid hormones. This will be depicted in this left panel, where our spy is on the run in a comically large bow tie. Next, we will go over hypothyroidism, which occurs when there are abnormally low levels of thyroid hormones. This will be depicted in this right panel, where our spy now has an untied bow tie and is about to come face to face with his adversary, Dr. Hashimoto. But before we dive into each of these conditions in more depth, there is one more thing we need to cover first, and that is a goiter, which is a fancy name for an enlarged thyroid that, depending on the cause, can be seen in both hypo- and hyperthyroidism. If you look at this central panel, you'll see our spy has been hit in the neck by a rather large rock to help you remember this. Goiters are caused by high levels of thyroid-stimulating hormone, or TSH-like, substances, which exhibit a trophic, or growth effect, on the thyroid. This is why our pitcher has such a large bow in her hair. Now, let's take a closer look at hyperthyroidism, starting with what can cause it. First up is Graves' disease, an autoimmune disorder characterized by high levels of thyroid-stimulating immunoglobulins. These stimulate the release of thyroid hormones by binding to the TSH receptor on thyroid follicular cells, resulting in hyperthyroidism. You can see this represented by this gravestone, embedded with antibody arrows that were fired at our spy. Because these antibodies mimic TSH, they may also cause thyroid hypertrophy, aka a goiter. These high level of thyroid hormones will also exhibit negative feedback on the anterior pituitary, resulting in low levels of TSH, shown here by these RIP TSH initials. 